Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomonotype. I guess we're starting off with a bang this time. So, yeah, <laughs> Tokopi's finally evolving at level 22 into Togetic. Good. So, y'all may be wondering. What am I doing back here in Dark Cave? Well, the answer is I had completely forgotten that you can also catch Clefairy here. Which would be another Pokemon eligible for this run. And it is a very rare encounter. So I'm going to skip ahead until I find one, because it's like a 1% encounter rate. So, be right back. Not you! Oh, there's Clefairy. We're going to have to do a fair bit of training to bring you up to speed with the rest of the team, but there we go. Switch over to... So just take over here. And, uh, well, Yon's gonna put you to sleep, it'll be easier to catch. Alright, now we just spam. Let's try the Great Ball. There we go. So that's even my third Pokémon. Now, we're not gonna evolve it right away, I don't think. I'll need to double-check what moves it learns, because... Like a lot of the early stone evolutions, it doesn't learn any moves after you evolve it. So, you want to learn all the moves it can learn, that, that you want to know, before you evolve it. Because after that, it's just TMs. What to call ya. Okay, so they were going with this one is Guiar, which is the original name of a character named Morgaus in the Arthurian myth. She was... Her exact characterization depends on which adaptation you read. Back to the Ruins of Alf to grind! Okay, so this is the highest level that I think I care to level it up to. Minimize could be useful, if a little luck-based. And I brought it over to uh, the Ruins of Alf so that I could do some effort value training, because the Fable is primarily a special attacker. And wouldn't you know it, in the first episode, we found the Moonstone in Dark Cave. So, there we go. And I think this is going to be one of the more useful Pokémon on the team, because Clefable has a very, very good move pool. So it's wiggly tough to a degree, but I won't be able to get that until a little later. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so now we're back at the Pokémon Center and healed. Um, I suppose I could go through the actual usual recap. So, let's see. Last time, I beat Faulkner, I acquired Togepi, beat up some old men in the... Whoops, wrong way. I beat up some old men at the, uh, Sprout Tower. Then I made my way down south to the entrance of the Union Cave, which we're going back to right now. So the next stop, of course, is going to be Azalea Town. And, uh, go away. So, the next stop... Uh, so, something I should know, actually, about Union Cave... If I hadn't solved the Union, uh, the, uh, rather, I, I'm sorry, I'm tongue-tied. If I haven't solved that puzzle to make Unknown appear at the, uh, Ruins of Elf, there won't be any Pokémon in Union Cave. There's some sort of, I don't know how the guy who made this coded that, but in any case, if you're trying to speedrun this, just don't solve the puzzle. No wild Pokémon will appear. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and you can find Wild Raticate and Golbat in here at pretty low levels. Oh, and Numel as well. That's kind of rare. You can actually find it on the route on the way here, too. And if you're wondering, no, the time of day actually has no bearing on whether certain wild Pokemon appear or not. I think it just affects certain certain events, like there's the guy who can give you Curse in Celadon City. Whoops. And of course, I'm mostly focusing on Curlia right now, because it'll be the next to evolve. Yeah, I guess anyone would be upset about that.
Yeah, he did. Okay, uh... Yeah, I have plenty of Oron Berries from my Fampy squad. There's a potion. Now, we can't actually go out of here right away, because, of course, the hack dev likes to emulate later games and added a bit of railroading, where you can't actually proceed to Azalea Town until you find this kid's lost toy in the cave. It's stupid, but that's just... In fact, I think it was supposed to spawn over there, or... Yeah, they're seriously going to make me talk to the kid, and then I have to come back in here and find the stupid thing. Or, yeah, I hate it when games do that. It's like, just get over it, you stupid kid, you lost it. This would be a great teaching experience for you. About personal responsibility. You don't take care of your shit, you lose it. Simple as that. Yeah, well, at least Zane's not being an asshole for once. Alright, let's go get the little shit his damn toy back. Like I said, it wasn't here earlier. That is totally arbitrary. Fuck that. And to the hack dev, fuck you for doing this. One more. Th oh, never mind. We can't use cut yet, but we'll be back here when we can. Here you go, you sniveling brat. He's a little kid, just push him aside! <sighs> Fucking hell. As usual, I can't escape my true calling in life. I'm the motherfucking mailman. We're gonna heal real quick. <clears throat> and actually, we're gonna go over to, uh... Oh, first we're gonna get some items. Two white apricorns. And we'll talk to Kurt. He gets upset, and he goes to talk to Team Rocket in the Slowpoke well. By talk, I mean fall down a fucking ladder and break his back. And we're actually going here into the Ilex Forest. Um, We can't actually go through it yet, but there are some items in here that we can get. That otherwise, we would have to get past some rather tough battles to get to. Granted, I'm not sure if any of them will be useful. And actually, I'm probably going to want to grind even more because, uh, well, most of you probably know about the infamous rival battle. Oh, here's Butterfree. That you often end up having, well, that you have to fight in Gen 2 to actually leave town. Well, it's actually worse in this hack. Because not only do you have to fight your rival, you have to fight a second battle with another trainer. And you gotta do them back to back with no break between. It's obnoxious. So, uh, I actually probably should do a little bit of training in here first. But first, I gotta go back and heal. Alright, so after a little bit more grinding, I got Clefable up to the same level as the Tojitic. Curly is up to level 26 because it learns, and I got to that level because it learned Psychic. Now you may wonder, well, why does it have 16 power points instead of 10? Well, the answer is I keep getting pickups from uh, my fan piece, so... And I did the same with Confusion, just so I don't have to go back to Pokemon Centers as often while I'm grinding. But anyways, I think it's time we go take on Team Rocket. Now, admittedly, when it comes to a remix of this particular theme, I've heard better remixes using the Fire Red Leaf Green sound font myself. 
this is alright. It's just not my favorite of them. There's one that I think actually fits Fire Red and Leaf Green sound better than this. Yeah, it ain't. That's gonna get a whole lot worse. Of course, I've actually had a pretty shitty day myself. Oh, I don't need to try. If you're wondering, well, basically, long story short, a really bad storm came through last night, and I was without power until late this afternoon. And I just bought groceries the previous day, so, uh, yeah, I was spending the whole day worrying if $100 worth of frozen stuff was gonna go, go bad, because the power company felt like dragging their feet getting my power back on. Fortunately, they finally built a fire under it. Hello, Proton. Of course, he's just a standard grunt here, but in Heart, Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, this is Executive Proton. And in both cases, he's a bit of a pushover. Alright. Well, that's Team Rocket taken care of. And I'm gonna have even more fun kicking your ass. Let me talk to this guy. And we get a netball. So it catches water and bug types with a higher catch rate. Now, unfortunately, um, unlike in the normal games, Kurt doesn't actually give you a choice of what Pokeballs to craft. And you just give him all the, I think it's all the Apricorns of a given type, but he'll just turn them into balls. And now we're going to go back down to the gym, and we're actually going to save before our next battle, because here's Zane. So we're going to save real quick. All right, now let's kick Zane's ass again! Uh-huh. Sure. I will win. Famous last words. Yeah, Q-Charm is absolutely useless on Porygon, because it doesn't even have a gender. Put it to sleep. Thank you! You know what? We're gonna be evil. And we're going to just... Yeah. Of course, if you're gonna do that too, fine. Oh, you would. You would! Fuck you, dude! <laughs> Smartass. Impossible? Well, just happened, dude. I doubt it. Uh-huh. Keep dreaming, kid! Anyways, back to the Pokemon. Now, of course, this is a Bug-type gym, so... This... and... So, needless to say, I'm gonna use the Pokemon that has a Rock-type attack. It doesn't mean I have to go back to the Pokemon Center a few times, just because it only has so many power points. Also, these twins... Um, sometimes twins are double battles, sometimes they're single battles. I think this first set it is it might be the only one that's just a single battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems that even though uh ancient power is supposed to be a special move, it is still arbitrarily counted as a contact move. Fortunately I pick up a fuck ton of berries because of the Fampy squad. Also, yes, Bugsy Sprite is glitched. If it, he's looking south, that's what that's just what it does. Like I said, this hack is janky as fuck. Alright, well let's see if Okay. 
Well, now I definitely need to go back and get some more power points, so be right back. Okay, so after healing and saving, let's take on Bugsy. Now, Bugsy actually gave me a bit of trouble when I was a kid, back in the original Gold version. Because, well, I picked Chikorita as my starter, so naturally, Bugsy just Scyther was a pain in the ass. So, yeah, okay. This should be quick. Yeah, that was, that was predictable. Now, what if I told you that was probably going to be the easiest of the battles of this episode? So, yeah, now I need to go back and heal again, just to top off Ancient Power's power points, because I've got two back-to-back -back battles before I can leave town. So, we're going to go take care of that, and now we're just going to save real quick. Okay, so now we go this way. And here's the guy from Violet City. And yes, this. Yes, that is music from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. And yes, his name is Axel. I'm not gonna lie, there are parts of this hack where the writing veers into bad fanfic territory. And, uh, well, it gets much worse later on. Well, at least he didn't say, got it memorized. Also, he just ran through a tree. And now Silver shows up! <laughs> yeah, two of these back-to-back. -back. The dev of this hack is an asshole. Seriously. Fortunately, I saw it coming. Well, okay. Blaze Kick. We'll do that. Nope. Uh, well, yeah, they are weak, but you're weak, too. Make me. Hmm. Says the weakling. Now I need to go back and heal again. And we're actually going to do a couple more things before we finish this episode off. So first things first, we got to go up through here. Get out of the way. Talk to this guy. Because it seems that little kids aren't the only people that lose things around here. Also, apparently that's supposed to be a far-fetched. So we go around the long way. At least in this case, it's only one far-fetched from, like, the remake where you have to catch two of them. So we got cut. And there's a couple more things we, we're gonna get before we finish this off. Of course, now we can teach cut. I actually... I caught a Paris earlier while I was training, so Paris knows Cut, and it also knows Flash, so that's two HMs and one Pokemon. First things first, let's go get a Charcoal for talking to this guy. Let's boost your Fire-type's attacks. You can also actually sell it for a considerable amount of money, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay, so now we have Cut, we can go back and cut down that tree and get the item that, would, that I couldn't access earlier. Up here, and it's a Moo Moo Milk. So, anyways, uh, I think that'll do it for this time, ladies and gentlemen. If you like and see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.